Hi everyone, I'm Dia. I'm joining from Australia. I'm Abdul, uh, Abdul Rahman from Malaysia. I'm Charlie and uh, I'm currently at my home in Hanoi, Vietnam. Hi, my name is Edwina. When the pandemic hit, I saw the digital education as being an opportunity, a hopeful opportunity for us to actually equalize education. But then in fact, it actually widens the gap because people stop education. They quit school because of the pandemic, because they don't have access to internet, for example. So my question is, how can we actually equalize educational opportunities given we have limited resources? And like, can digitalizing education really be a solution to this problem? In my opinion, education cannot uh, uh, be done fully digitally. I think you want to think of the digital tools as complementing the, the, the basic structure of the school and, and, and allowing that tight tailorization of experience that we already said is important. So I think it's good to think of uh, the two uh, as uh, going in parallel. A physical space where you meet your friends, you learn the soft skills, you uh, you know you read to someone and so on, uh, 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 combined with a digital universe that provides a lot of material that would otherwise not be available. I'm Ben. I'm from Singapore. My name is Sergio, and I'm from East Timor. I'm Evangeline from Singapore. Um, hi everyone. I'm Jackie. Many politicians will advocate that that education is the magical solution to um, social mobility. We will realize that the higher the social origin, the more resource parents will give towards their, their kids um, in order to achieve a relatively high educational level. Um, so the question that I would like to raise to um, Esther is, do you think education is the solution to improve social mobility? If not, um, what is it? Thanks. I think that's a great, great question. So there is this French sociologist called Pierre Bourdieu who wrote uh, a lot of excellent book about education. One of them is called uh, The Reproduction, uh, which is show, which was demonstrating how the, uh, the educational system serves as a way to cast in stone the, the existing inequality. That is a reality uh, and, and a huge problem. So I think it has, it can be changed, uh, but it has to be changed by reforming the curriculum and what is being taught in schools and what is being expected from the schools. And also maybe, you know, by companies being more creative about how they recruit people. At some point in India, software company just had a open doors for anybody who wanted to, to come in, take an exam that's more of an IQ exam that required no uh, a particular knowledge, and then they would train you. And I think some of that, uh, uh, some more of that uh, would be needed uh, to you know, provide a bit of competition to the schools as well. That's a great question. I think it encompasses a lot of the conversation we've had today. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank